Well, hey everybody. What is up, Camdog83? Glad to be here with you. Oop, I got audio. Waiting for Wolf to make his appearance. And I'm going to load the... <gasps> Excuse me. Load the chat here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Wolf should be coming on any moment. I think I might see him here. Let's see. If that's who I think it is. Popping into view there. I think that's Wolf. We'll see. But, uh, but we got some uh, fantasy football to go over. Uh, we're also uh, I'm just going to chat, hang out, have some fun. I may try something. I experimented with a little bit last night. Wolf in the house. Showing a green gremlin of some sort. A female gremlin. A gremlinette. And uh, glad to be here with you. So let's get going here. Let me switch. So y'all can see my lovely face. There I am. Oh yeah. And uh, sporting my bear shirt. Gremlin. I don't know. It looks like a gremlin. Some sort of green giant. One of the things I tried to figure out, Wolf... Uh, we'll kind of speak in code a little bit. Is uh, how to get you back to where I can see you on the other chat. And I asked for help from a uh, agent, and they were no help. They didn't understand the issue. They were like, just right click on their name and unban them. And I'm like, no, you don't understand that I accidentally banned them, so I can't see them to unban them. But, uh, yeah, I just gave up. But anyway, zombie lady. <laughs> A zombie. Well, it kind of ties in with uh, the movie that uh, showed on Saturday, which I don't know if you caught the archive or not. Uh, attack of the... Um, I'm blanking on the name now. Attack of the <laughs> killer something. Squids or something like that. Killer... A help agent can't help, yes. You know, I feel that way sometimes at work. Um... <coughs> I won't go into extreme detail for security reasons as well as I would like to keep my job, if at all possible, but uh, to explain it in broad terms, the company I work for is the customer service wing of another company. And this other company that we work for they will send out information to their prospective customers or their clients. And, you know, it'll say something like, you know, we're no longer going to be doing this next year. And call this number. And then they give them our number. But we don't get the information. <laughs> and so it's it's a constant, you know, well, what does this mean? And I'm like, well, I would love to tell you, but I don't have any information. But let me see what I can find out for you. And uh, that combined with phone system issues. Yeah, yeah. I th the less I say, the better on that. But uh, I'll just say if you're, you're deploying people to work from home, make sure you have systems that work. 
and where the audio doesn't cut out. You're a call center, and the audio cuts out like every 30 seconds on these calls. So you would be talking to somebody, and they're like, hello, hello, I can't hear you. And I'm like, yes, I'm here. Can you hear me now? Yeah, oh, I can hear you now. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. We're having phone issues, and so... Anyway, that's been my night. That's been really my month, my two months. Those problems started in November. Here we are in December, and uh, no resolution. You officially have a new president. Yes, his name is Camdog83. Uh, he will take office. I'm just kidding. Good for Joe. Good for Joe. Um, good for Joe. I hope he does well. I I really do. I like. I'm not one of those where I'm like, I want him to struggle, because he's not my guy. No, I want the country to do well. I wanted Donald Trump to do well. He did not. He did in some cases. Some some things he did well, but overall he did not do well. And I want Joe to do well, because if Joe is doing well, then the country is doing well, and that's what really matters. So. O S O S I like it. All right, as always, you can use my promo code camdog83 at checkout at nonamenerd.com and you can get 10% off your order. They got all sorts of cool stuff. Jerseys starting at 24.99. You can get custom hats, backpacks, hoodies, Looks like uh, t-shirts, mugs, masks even. Like say you want to make a Camdog 83 mask. You could do that. Uh, they got cool merch like wristbands and uh, things that go over bottles. I can't think of their name. And hoodies and all sorts of great stuff. They have logo services. Whoops. Ah, come on. Okay, what is going on? can get a uh, logo made real cool they even now they've added uh, integrated web services where you can register domain names don domain names and uh, also you know website hosting to email and SSL offer a full range of web services designed for gamers and streamers I'm gonna look into that by the way they also are offering now online courses are you ready to take your streaming to the next level Take one of our online courses to learn about how we grew the No Name Nerd community from nothing into the best freaking community of nerds on the internet. We'll provide the information you need to grow your community. So that is all there. Also my podcast, Observations and Comments. It's available wherever. Here, let me move that a little bit. Let's see if that... Oh, I can't. Oh, wait, it's over to the left there. Okay, I was looking at the right, saw it was cut off. That's available wherever you get your podcast. Episode 4 is out, called Wikimania. You can find it wherever you get your podcast. Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and Spotify. And, why don't we get to the meat and the taters. Week 14 is over. And we'll look at the updated standings and get the playoff matchups and all of that as well. Um, we'll start with my game. I was pretty confident I was going to beat Ryan, and I did. Uh, Wilson had a good good week. Watson uh, didn't have a bad week, but didn't necessarily have a good one. He did throw for a touchdown in garbage time. Um, I was happy the Bears won. But uh would have liked a few more points from him. But as you can see, <laughs> Ryan did not get much production from his lineup. But when you have, you know, people out and not playing, it kind of makes it difficult. Carson Wentz didn't play, so that hurt him. Comeback of the year for the Wolf. Yes, we will check that out. Uh, let's see. I didn't leave much on the table. I could have started Aguilar, Agu Aguilar, uh, and Hawkins Hawkinson. 
I could have started either of those and maybe gotten a little more production, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. All right. Luke, the Royal Chiefs. Got the win, and with it, the two seed. We'll check that out here in a moment. You are the two seed, Wolf. A. A. Ron Rogers, with his four touchdowns, three through the air, one on the ground, gave him 29 points. And uh, that was Rogers' total by itself was the same as Bruce's overall production from his quarterbacks. He got uh, 16 from Rivers and 13 from Roethlisberger. Uh, Henry was a beast for him. Two touchdowns, 22 points. Uh, Sanders at kicker did pretty well for him. But, uh, eh, you know. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go over one thing on my matchup. Should see what my team defense did. Look at this. The Rams, 21 points. Boom. That is gold right there. That's gold, Jerry. That's gold. So, uh, Wolf gets the win. He's 9-5. and five. And the two seed. I told you he'd be fine. You were all worried and everything. Uh, Claude got the win, so he is the four seed, I believe. No, he's the three seed. Wait. Well, we'll check it out. I can't remember. Either he's three and I'm four, or I'm four and he's three. I can't remember. I think I just said the same thing twice. But Okay. Quarterback play was pretty even, 28 to 27. Uh, wide receiver really hurt Aaron. He needed to, in order for Aaron to make the playoffs. I wasn't done. I'll come back to it. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we're going to, I'm just doing kind of the overview right now, and then we'll, we'll dig into my matchup and your matchup a little bit more. But uh, he needed to win, not only win against Claude, which he didn't, but he also needed to uh, win by at least 41 points because he was 40 points behind Claude. And uh, neither of those happened. So <laughs> he is out of the playoffs. But he is a five seed, so he will be the top seed in the consolation bracket, which we'll look at that as well. And let's see. And then Denny beat up on Katie. 93 to 66. Wow, Derek Carr. He had a nice day. How about that? Derek Carr had 20 points. Two pass touchdowns, one rush touchdown. And yet they lost 44 to 27. That's hard to do. <laughs> now let's see. Sanders had a nice day for Denny. 18 points. <laughs> Baltimore got throttled tonight. But they got the win. But he got zero points on their defense. Uh, Cam Newton really hurt Katie. 119 pass yards. One interception for a big fat zero. Parker was out. It didn't really much matter. She wasn't going to make the playoffs. Denny had already clinched a playoff spot, so, um, you know, it's one of those things. It is what it is. All right, let's go back to Wolf's matchup because he wanted me to break it down line by line. Uh, Herbert and Hill... Did all right. 28 points. That's the wrong game. Hold up. It's like, wait a minute. He doesn't have Herbert and Hill. Okay. Mahomes had 13 points. Got off to a rough start. Three interceptions. Two of them in the first quarter. Came back with uh, two touchdowns and almost 400 pass yards. Ended up with 13. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. 29 points, three touchdowns through the air, 
one on the ground, 290 pass yards. Lockett, two points, 12 points for Diggs, 130 yards and a touchdown. Fournette, big fat zero. Let's see, Montgomery had a nice day and a win. 13 points, a rushing touchdown, 113 rush yards and 42 receiving yards. Uh, Travis Kelsey, 12 points, 136 and a touchdown. Uh, Mason Crosby, 9 points, a 50-plus yard field goal, and 4 PATs. And the Chiefs defense, 4 sacks, 1 interception, and 1 safety. I like how it just says 1 safe for 8 points. Uh, not a whole lot of points left on the table and on the uh, bench there. Uh, oh, that hurts. Oh, Bruce. I did not know that. He had Trubisky on his bench. <laughs> he had three touchdowns. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> he left 40 points on the bench. 24, Trubisky. 10 points, Jones. 5 for Ayuk. 1 for Perryman. Man, that stinks. He left a lot on his bench. He could have... I mean... He just subbed in... Mitch, right there, for Big Ben. And he would have won by, like, 20 points. Oh, man. All right, let's look at the final standings. We have them here. So we wait for that to load. So it's kind of off to the... Oh, wait, hold up. They are off the screen. Why are they off the screen? Hold up. Oh, I know why. Aha. Okay. I changed the crop settings for another, I think I was experimenting with offline and uh, forgot to remove the crop. So, okay, if you look off to the left here, uh, so Denny is the one seed, and he will be facing Claude, who is the four seed, so not m me. And Wolf, you and I are matching up next week in the playoffs. Two nine and five teams, so um, I'm buffering some. Well, how dare I buffer? How dare I buffer? So, yeah. That's the playoff matchups for the championship bracket for the consolation bracket. Uh, Hauser will take on Bruce, and Katie and Ryan will match up in the other. So, Denny finished 12 and 2. Uh, Royal Chiefs nine and five, the Cam Dog Bears nine and five, the Lemon Yellows nine and five, Dreadnoughts seven and seven, Katie's team four and ten, the Untouchables four and ten, and Bruce, a mighty two and twelve. He had some bad luck this year. <laughs> I feel bad for him. Um. Okay, that's your fantasy football review for week 14 and looking ahead to week 15. Now, I think I want to try something. I'm gonna mute, mute audio there for a second. I'm going to switch to this scene for a little bit. I'll keep talking, however. I played around with this a little bit last night. And I thought, why not try it again here tonight? I uh, I did not stream last night, but I... Did a little bit of 
playing around with some stuff. Oh, this should be fun. Holy shnikes. <laughs> I don't know if that bled through the mic or not, but that was really loud. Okay. Oh, uh, we're getting old school here tonight. NCAA basketball. I'm going to do a little KU, K-State. Whoops. Whoops. Alright, here we go. Oh, missed it. Got the rebound, though. What the crap? <laughs> I like it. Definitely an old school game. Got charging called on the Wildcats. Come on, how do I pass? Well, five seconds. I had the controls memorized last night. Now I'm trying to relearn them a little bit. Are you laughing at the game or the missed shots? Dang it, Kansas State. There we go. I figured out how to pass again. No, I didn't want to put up a shot yet. Got blocking on Webster. The Jayhawks. For the uh, Wildcats, rather. Whoops. This game came out in 94. It looks like it's from the 70s. What am I doing? Okay. There we go. Got my guy now. Shots up. Nope. Rebound by the Jayhawks. Pushing it ahead. Ah. Shot blocked. Back up with it again. Shot blocked. <laughs> ah. Gotcha. Blocking on Smith. Inbounds. Come on, make this shot. Ah. What the? Oh, I have the ball. Shot blocked. And a foul. Oh, missed the shot, so I'll go to the line. There we go. Get our first point. What the? That was right on line. Oh my... I cannot make a basket. It just saved my life. This game is rigged. Ah, now a steal. We're not going to defend. It's the inbounds. KU up with it. Now a steal. It's 
the heck? I was at least scoring a little bit last night. Let's put up a three, see what happens. Oh, so we can hit it from like 90 feet away. But I try to hit an up-close shot. I might just shoot threes. Screw the inside shots. I'll go for threes. Ooh, a steal. Here we go. Up with a shot. That's how you do it. Alright. We're playing an outside game. What the heck are we doing? Alright, there's a block. We... I thought we had the ball, so I started running the other way. And they got an easy bucket. Alright, 16.31 to go. 8-6, Kansas State. Now a steal. And an easy bucket. That'll make it 10-6. All right, I'm going to take the shot if they're going to give it to me. Oop, a steal. Here we go. Stop. Shoot. Swish. Boom. Yes. First lead of the game, 11 to 10. And another steal. Here we go, up the court. Stop. Shoot. Nope, not that time. And a blocking foul on Martinez. So we'll retain possession. Shot. Pass in. Shot. Got it. Blocking on Rose. That was not a block. Uh, so they make their free throws, but I don't. All right, 13 12. Five minutes into the game. Stop. Shoot. Nope. Another block? That was not a block. Come on now. K-State reclaims the lead. All right, inbounds pass. And stop. Shoot. Nope. Might have to call time out here in a moment. Not defend. All right, here we go. Up the court. Stop. Shoot. Nope. Rebound. Back up with it. Foul on Webster. Shot's no good. Alright, we're making this one. That one's going in. Come on. Yes, we are tied. K-State calls timeout. I forgot to turn the audio back on. I can do that now that it's not blaring. Okay. So...
left, right to substitute. Okay, I see. Oh, the whole new lineup. Oh, that's funny. I can change their players, too. Okay, let's look at game stats. Smith, six points. Oh, that's for K-State. We don't care about them. Nine points for Jackson Thompson with five points. That's all the scoring. All right. All right, let's go back to the game. If I'm letting you know, I'm probably I'll probably go till uh, Cofield should be on here in about 12:30, and so I'll probably sign off a little after then, maybe 12:45. What the? Or I might go longer. We'll see. I usually like to get his take on the Monday night football game. Well, those threes aren't falling like they were before. I don't know if I can play two halves of this. <laughs> That's a nice little swish. There you go. Just inside the line, a two. Down by a point. We're gonna have to hit a three here. What I don't like is the players are linked. I don't know if you notice that. Like when I move they move in tandem. I'm not liking that. There's the pass, the shot. No good. Rebound, Kansas State. Uh oh. Why did I make that pass? That was a bad pass. Should have just shot it. <laughs> this is. <laughs> So antiquated. It's like it's so old. Where was that pass? And why was my guy like in the rafters? NCAA basketball. Oh, I got the steal. Alright, I'm going to put it up. For three. Got it. Got it to a four-point game. 10.52 to go here in the first half. Now, oh, got to get that rebound. Come on. Block. Alright, rebound. 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 
Oh, he's a horrible free throw shooter. I'm gonna miss it. Clank. All right, got the rebound. He wasn't letting me get through. It's a long two. Nope. Blocking foul on Perez. Holy crikey, 39%. Got it, somehow. That's hard to follow. Nah. This is second. Let's get the rebound. No. Let's not get the rebound. Four point game. 10.21 to go. And we'll just kind of let him, you know, right up to the basket. Score the bucket. You know, no big deal. Catch. Pass. What the... Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. 4-3. Nope. Rebound and a charge. How the heck was that a charge? On a rebound. Over the back, maybe. Not a charge. Come on. Yeah. Alright, up the court we go. Stops. Shoots. Nope. Alright. Regardless of whether they score here or not, I'm calling a timeout. go back to our starting lineup here. Twenty-nine, twenty-one. Oh man, rocket pass. Rocket pass. That was a long two. Alright, my shooting should improve now that my starters are back out there. Reaching in on Nelson. That's the shot. Come on. Get the rebound. Somebody. Urgh. Rebound you. Urgh. That was a bad shot. Oop, got the steal. Stop. Shoot. Nope. Oop, got the rebound. Shot from the charity stripe. Got it. Six point game. Eight minutes to go. Long two. Nope. Out of bounds. Back to the Jayhawks. Inbound pass. Stop. Shoot. Nope. Back up with it. Except I was hitting the wrong button. Nope. How the crap was that a block? That was so a charge. It's 
stop. Shoot. Nope. Okay, back up with it. Swish! I was not paying attention. I was adjusting the camera. What the... Boys, 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 come on now. Inbounds pass. Oh, bounce. Now, here we go, the other way. Oh, now a steal. And switch the other way. 12 point game. Nope. Rebound. Back up with it. Yeah. Ten point game. So you liking this wolf? Inside pass. Oh, now steal. Here we go. Up. Shoot. Nope. Rebound, Wildcats. Nope. Not liking the score. Stop. Shoot. There you go. Alright, let's hit a few more of those. We're down by nine points, or five, a little over five minutes to go in the first half. Thought it's not a block. If you're set, it's a charge. Alright, Jim Smith misses both. Rebound to K State. Grab Nebit. Inbound pass. Stop. Shoot. Bad shot. Oop, got the rebound. Back up with it. Nope. Got the rebound. Now it's kicked around. Pass. Stop. Shoot. Nope. That was a bad possession. My Atlanta. Okay, where's my fifth guy? What the... Why was he over there? Oh, come on. Make that. Oh, back up with it. Yeah. K-State calls timeout. Four minutes and nine seconds. Robinson, Rose, Patterson, Martin, Johnson. Play with those five for a little bit. Up. Shoot. Nope. Rebound. Back up with it. Nope. Back up with it. Swish! And one. Of course, he hits 54%. Right about. Meow. Well, that was way off. Oh, get it. Oh, yes, we have it. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Dang it! And they call it charge. 
Oh, I could have had four points. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Of course there's a foul. Mix them both. Makes it a 13 point game. Inbound. And a shot. Like it even mimics the shot too. So like w when I'm shooting, the other players on the court are shooting as well. Locked. All right. Here we go. No good. Two and a half to go. Really? I'm just going to let him drive? This is awful. Part of me just wants to play one half, and part of me wants to see if I can make a big comeback in the second half. He shoots. I just can't make a shot. I think I'll be done at half and then probably chat for a little bit and then sign off. I got a couple things to do on my day off tomorrow. There's a nice block. That's it. Now the rebound, the shot. Nope. Back up with it. About time I made a shot. 53 to 40. 53 seconds. Actually, before I go, I might show off a, a cool game I found online. It's browser-based. It's pretty fun. Can show that off for a little bit. Oh my gosh. Can I hit a shot? Nope. Alright. Yay! I hit a three pointer. Yeah, this game is really cool. Long shot! No! Rebound. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Whoa. Okay. If your head hasn't gone through the ceiling yet from that loud music, Kill that. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's the beauty of Genesis. Okay, what happened to my browser? There it is. Alright, so I was just Google searching the other day and found this game. It is so fun. 
Alright, so. Wrong screen. It's called Basketball GM. Start playing now. So. Uh, there's also a football one I haven't checked out yet. But let's do. I'm going to do New League Real Players. And you can even go, like, back in time. Like, uh. Oh, let's say. We'll call this League. Cam Dog. 83. And you could go to say like 19, say 1972 when you had, nope, sorry, 1973. You had the Kansas City Kings, in this game they're called the Kansas City Sauce. This is a fun game. It's real players. Uh, obviously the team names are made up, but real players. And and then so here we are. We are the Kansas City Sauce. And see, it's uh, the real team. The, when the, the very first Kansas City team came in from Cincinnati, the, this was the lineup. Tiny Archibald, Tom Van Arsdale. Van Arsdale, rather. Uh, Sam Lacey, John Mengelt, Matt Gukas. It's real drafts. So I like to do it auto-sort and keep auto-sorted. And then, uh, yeah, you just kind of... Play along here. All right, so now we're to the regular season. I clicked the wrong thing. And you go until the playoffs. And I'll just sim one season tonight. And then through the draft and all that, and then Probably call it a day. Cofield's on. I'm gonna do a couple things before bed. So uh, doing all right. Record around 500. So doing okay. I did a sim of this last night on my phone, um, starting from the same point and ended up winning like three NBA titles in a row with the Kings. That would have been nice back in the day, but uh, they're getting up. So, now let's see where we're at in the West. All right, we have the last playoff spot right now as it speaks. And now we don't. Because of a lengthy losing streak at the end of the year. Oh, we made the playoffs. We snuck in. 42 and 40. Playing the Lakers. Probably going to get destroyed. Let's see here. Oh yeah, four straight. Let's see, Lakers and Boston. Lakers sweep. All right, now there's my mouse. Oh yeah, and you get evaluated. So this year, pretty good overall. It's too early to judge you. Uh, the draft lottery. Back then, it was a coin flip. There's between Buffalo and Milwaukee. And Milwaukee won the coin flip. Then you draft. And on the draft here, it shows the undrafted players. Here it shows the picks 
we have the eleventh pick. And you know, you can make trades, trade for the pick. Like if I wanted to go for the number one pick, I could make a trade. Maybe trade Tiny Archibald. Uh for that I wouldn't in this draft. You can see there's nobody I mean, I don't know any of these guys. Okay. You just go to your next pick. Guess I'll draft Derek Dickey. He has the most potential. Go to my next pick. We'll do Ken Charles. And then, yeah, we'll go till end of draft. And then the then you go to resign your players. So I will sign Lacey. Uh, let's see, Williams is pretty good. I have no money for free agents. It's zero dollars in cap space, so I'm just gonna re-sign these guys. Then you go to free agency. And see if I wanted to, you know, sign Bob McAdoo, I could, although he refuses to sign. Got different guys here, Dave DeBusher. I can't sign anybody though. Go to dashboard. I'll take this up to the next year. Now I'm going to sign off. And it automatically relocates teams. It's like, I can't keep the sauce in Kansas City. They moved to Sacramento and become the, like, gold diggers or whatever. Okay. We'll go up to the next regular season, and then I'm going to sign off so I can watch some Cofield. In fact, I'm starting to get them loaded now. All right, this has been another edition of CamDog83. I thank you all for tuning in. And we might do some more basketball in our next stream, I think. The plan is Wednesday I'll do a radio show. I don't know if I'll simulcast over here. I didn't think that was especially effective. Um, and then Friday... Friday I will... Was it Friday or Saturday? I think I can't remember. Um, I think it's Saturday. I want to do Saturday. So Saturday I'll do another stream over here on Twitch. And uh, tomorrow, Wolf, if you want to do some planning or get get together virtually and uh, discuss podcast things, I would love to do that. We can get that going. So I will catch you all later.